There are some people on the internet, some boring, boring people, boring, boring, no life, no psychos, no crackheads, no alcoholics in their family, no wife beaters in their family, <clears throat> no sketchy situations they've been in, loser, no having fun, never cheated, never had a kid outside their marriage, never abused somebody, never pushed somebody in the streets, never said something untoward to somebody at night because they had so much booze in their system, people out there, no fun people out there, that see this Alex Jones and Tim Dillon interview and blame Tim Dillon and say, Tim, you weren't responsible. You shouldn't have had Tim Dillon, Alex Jones on your platform. Be more responsible. Be more responsible. Shut up. Shut up. It's Alex Jones. This is what you want from him. This is what you want from him. He's not flipping Trevor Noah. I want Alex Jones lit. I want Alex Jones sipping Tito's, puffing a fucking cigarette and getting sloppy toppy from some T word. That's what I want him to be doing. All right. It's Alex Jones. It's Alex blood clot Jones. I want him lit. I want him lit. Oh, and by the way, he owes a billion dollars. He owes a billion dollars. What would you do? If you owed a billion dollars and the government and society at large and the victims of Sandy Hook were breathing down your neck, wouldn't you be taking Tito's to the face? Duh! You owe a billion dollars! So, shut up and enjoy the show. God damn it, these boring people. Uh, Tim Dillon, you should be more responsible with your plat. Responsible what? You can watch full hardcore porn on Twitter. Full hardcore porn on Twitter. You open up if you don't even have TikTok. You don't even have you don't even need to have TikTok on your phone. You don't even have need to have TikTok on your phone. You could download TikTok right now. Register an account. The first time you open a TikTok feed, you're gonna see some 15-year-old girl twerking. The internet is a degenerate place. It's full of degenerates, full of psychos, full of losers like me. 15 year old girls twerking and saying, I'm gonna be a nasty girl, I'm, I'm gonna be a nasty girl. And then you go on Twitter and there's somebody with a whole asshole on your feed saying, click the link in bio. And you're upset about Alex Jones having a bit of fucking whiskey and a cigarette. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. God damn it, man. People are so puritanical. So puritanical. So boring. So straight-laced. Shut up. Let me, let me move this. Honestly, I was, I was sending the replies. I was like, it's Alex fucking Jones. What did you expect was going to happen? Huh? Fuck. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Let's go. This is Alex Jones on Tim Dillon. Maybe one of the greatest episodes of all time. Episode number 402. Number 400. Right after the attempted assassination on Trump. He's lit from minute one. Alex well, Jones yeah, is, is, is with us. He's the only guy that I could really think of that I wanted to talk to <laughs> about this and what's going on. And that, they're blurring. They're blurring the Tito's. They're blurring the Tito's. Look at that fucking G. Look at that fucking G. Look at what his life has been reduced to. At one point, he was number one super chats on flipping YouTube at one point. At one point, mainstream media were worried. Oh, shit. Infowars might come and take our spot. People are actually watching this guy. He's actually a reliable news source. What are we going to do? And then, of course, Alex Jones fashion, he flowed too close to the sun, side saying some untoward things about the Sandy Hood victims, and then, boom, Bob's your uncle, Granny's your aunt, and Roseanne is your tia, and it was all over. But there was a time where he was just swimming in the money from the fucking, what, supplements to the pills to whatever. He was living large. Now look at him. He's out in some field somewhere. 
I'm not too sure if he's in Central America with some T words who are maybe of age, maybe. Is he somewhere in a house in North America? I don't know. But this is actually quite a sad thing to see such a great man fall to such depths. Look at him. Look at him. No man that has their life together will be taking fucking Tito's to the face. And, and the only vodka you take to the face is a vodka named after me. The only vodka you take to the face is a name, is a vodka that's name is something that you would describe me if I cut in front of you in traffic. That's the only vodka you take to the face. That's the only one that might be a little bit tasty. That makes sense. Tito's. That's like drinking Jameson's to the face. Are you nuts? That might strip off a bit of paint. That might strip off some, some darkness on my lips. I might have two lips the same colour if I fucking drink Tito's to the face. That's fucking paint binner, mate. I swear to God. His life isn't all there. But it's fun to watch. So enjoy the shit show, you boring C-U-N-T-E-S. I wanted to talk to you about this and what's going on. And that's you and I coming out, the fact that we've been married for 10 years. We've been married hey. for 10 years and we get all the state benefits that come with it. Um, what do you think? By the way, there's some lady in the background there talking to him the whole time. So the whole time he's sitting with Tim Dillon, there's some lady, ladies, day, dems, who knows, in the background, talking to him, communicating. <laughs> and he's not focusing, so it's funny. I'm sure Tim Dillon picked up on it. He's not, he's not really present. He's already he's fucked. <laughs> Plus, there's like big-titted people walking around him, probably. Daddy, do you want to come and touch me? Or something. Someone's saying something there. Uh, wait one second. I'll, I'll be with you in a second. I'll be with you in a second. And going crazy. But, 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 let's skip ahead because I've got some clips here to play for you. There's another one here where you say to yourself, is he fugged or is he just concentrating? Is Alex Jones fugged or is he just concentrating? Please let me know in the stream chat down below. Down. They don't have a way to make him step down. And so out of pure panic, they're like, my God, Trump's 20 points ahead. What do we do? We kill him. We, you know, we kill Trump. And so that's what's happening is that is that Biden has <laughs> no idea. It's, and I swear, to, <coughs> I swear to God, I listened to this first. <clears throat> I listened to this first on the audio. And I could tell he was distracted. Even listening to it via with no audio. You could tell he's distracted. He's not all there. He's like. <laughs> he's looking at titty. Uh, <laughs> so somebody, somebody's trying to get his attention and look at what they get his attention for. Idea what he's doing. He is completely living on another planet. <laughs> he has to go and... and get it. <laughs> ah! Another bottle, another bottle. <laughs> he is completely living oh, on another planet. I love Alex. Look at her. And there we go. Another bottle, bro. Another bottle of Burt Kreischer's finest. Another bottle of Burt Kreischer's finest. Finest. It's like, bruh, don't you have a glass? Don't you have a tumbler? Like, don't you want some ice in it? Or what, something? Like, don't you have some something? You're wearing, he's wearing a nice watch. Might be a Rolex, but he has no glass. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So that's why I'm trying to explain to people, we are in a constitutional, <laughs> total and complete crisis. Okay? I have talked to I more people, words. yeah, over the last few days, <laughs> like you. Bro, bro, bro. It's the covering the camera for me. Because <laughs> I'm assuming, they probably cut this out in the interview. I'm assuming in the beginning, when he takes a swig of the vodka, Tim probably tells him, hey, by the way, you're going to make too much work for my editor. Just, if you're going to drink it, just drink it off camera or something, or cover, you know what I mean? 
I think he probably told him that. So, all right, cool. So instead of just like not drinking for 30 minutes, 40 minutes while you do your fucking interview, talking about one of the most monumental days in history, world history, forget politics, forget North America, world history, you're somebody that people want to hear from, just 30, 40 minutes, just to, you know, just give your hot takes, spew your shit, go be a firebrand. Nah. In the whatever minute, this is an edited podcast of 40 minutes. I'm assuming they spoke to for about an hour. This guy couldn't put that bottle down. He was banging it. Ga, 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 ga to the face. And I love how I love how he covers the camera. He covers the camera to have a drink, right? To have a little sippy sip of the Tito's. But he's so smashed, he doesn't realize that you can see it. Like you can see he's drinking. So it's like he was trying to hide. You might as well just go off camera. There's no point covering it. We know what you're doing. Plus, he takes a long ass swig. I'm going to go back a little bit, but he takes a long ass swig. He's not just swigging it. Like, you know how sometimes if you're a bit fucked, you, want, you just want a bit of alcohol just to kind of, you know, give you a pep. He's drinking that shit like it's orange juice. He's drinking that shit like it's apple juice. He legit is like, that's a, like, watch, 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 watch. Okay. I have talked to more people, words. yeah, over the last few days, like you said, that are really <laughs> panicked. And also, whenever the drink starts leaking from your mouth, whenever you start dribbling, that's when you know you're fucked. Whenever you start dribbling, when when you start drinking from a bottle and you start dribbling, that's when you know you're a little bit like you're a little bit tipsy, 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 tipsy. Because, wow, bro, look at that. Look at that form. Only Alex Jones could cover the camera to take a swig of Tito's, take his hand away before he's taking the bottle away from his mouth. <laughs> like, come on, uncle. Come on, uncle AJ. Come on, uncle AJ. You got to do better than this, brother. You got to be a little bit. Come on, uncle AJ. What are you doing, brother? Look at him. Look at that form. I can't wait to hear what Tim Dillon has to say about this after the fact. I can't wait. He probably did some mad shit before the, the pod even started. He might have railed a line. He might have taken a couple of pills. I can't wait to hear the full story because it must be epic. That are really... <laughs> Who's he looking at? <laughs> Who's he looking at? Look at how big and sad his face looks. Doesn't he kind of look like Bert? He's in that Burt Kreischer class. That big, white, red head. That's what he's in. That big, white... The only thing he doesn't have is Burt Kreischer's eyes. Because Burt Kreischer doesn't... You know, he's happy. He's making money. But he, sometimes he gets really puffy eyes and he kind of looks a bit Asian. But look at those sad eyes. Look at that face. I don't blame him, man. He owes a billion dollars, brother. A billion dollars. Come on, bro. Let him have his Tito's and, and, and chill panicked and they're not people that you would think right i mean these are you know very successful people there <laughs> look at his face he's trying to concentrate but he's fucked are smart people and they <laughs> feel like this is he's thinking why did i agree to this interview he agreed to this interview when he was high he probably agreed to this interview while he was knee deep in some day dem clunge and now he's here he's like Fuck, man. I shouldn't agree to this, innit? This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. We're in a, a complete... <laughs> What's he? And then he points to somebody. So there's something else coming. He points to put something on the table. You know, we're spiraling out of control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a face. That's a face that needs to be screen grabbed. Look at that, bro. He's a defeated man. He's living out the best lot or the last parts of his life. Just taking it to the face, bro. Just taking it to the face. Just trying to drown his sorrows. And the ugly thing about drowning your sorrows, it works. Temporarily, of course, but it does work. <laughs> when you just want to black out, and you just want to wake up tomorrow and your problems have kind of like, you know, you've kind of delayed them another day. It kind of does work. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. 
And I kind of want to see how this ends. I really do. I really want to see how this ends. Oh. And they look at this attempt at Trump's life, and it's it's terrifies he's trying, people. He's, he's, he's getting a, he's getting a boost sweats now. He's getting the boo sweats. He's contemplating life. He's figuring out, like, oh my God, why am I here? Why did I do all this? Look at him. The fucking anguish. This, this is cinema. This is cinema. And by the way, these are not hysterics. These are Look, not people he's about to that- vomit. He's about to vomit. He nearly threw up. He nearly threw up there. That's That, that was a him... He nearly threw up. Terrifies Look at that. people. And by the way, Sweat. these are not hysterics. Hold these are not people Ooh, that he held that one in. Oh. A lot of he held that one in. And now he's trying to, because sometimes I heard, big up my friend Bobby, when Bobby used to smoke, he used to always tell me how he used to like smoking a cigarette after a meal, because it helps sometimes with digestion. So I'm assuming that's probably why he's taking that hard pour of a cigarette, to maybe to help bring the vomit down. So we're like, oh, God almighty, which is disgusting to say the least. But hey, you got to work with what you have. Stuff up until this point, but I'm sure you've talked to some of them too that are texting me, liberals, Alex, liberals, Democrats are texting me going. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so we got that. The best bit, the best bit of this podcast has to be the end. The end of this podcast might be one of the most cinematic things you've ever seen in your entire life and we're going to watch this together because i'm sure some of you want to see this so from around let's do 38 30 from around here this becomes pure and utter cinema let's go it's a total and absolute streisand effect yeah and 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 and, and so <laughs> that's where we are <laughs> is that the deep state's dying wait 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 here, here's the thing, right? <laughs> the deep state's falling apart. Uh huh. And their answer is uh -huh. just launch another war. Uh huh. In the EU. Uh huh. Germany. Yeah. Sweden. Yeah. Oh, he's about to France vomit there. He nearly draft. vomited there. He nearly vomited there again. He nearly vomited there again. Germany. No. Uh huh. Sweden. No. France have announced there we go. Uh -huh. Uh huh. And the public's protesting. Uh huh. And they're saying, our new economy, don't worry, is war with Russia. Of course. The West started that 11 years ago. Makes sense. They were through the Ukrainian government. They, mm -hmm. they started it. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Russia. I'm not, not a fan of Russia either. The point is... <laughs> I'm not a fan of Russia too. I hate Nina Kravitz. Is that exactly... Mm -hmm. They are starting this war. Oh, look at that face. That Tito's is now kicking his ass. That Tito's is kicking his ass now. That Tito's is kicking his ass. He's gone full rock eyebrow. I've been, I've been calling. He's getting a brain freeze for the teeth. So the teeth give. They're accelerating this war. Uh huh. And Trump is saying yeah. he's not part of this war. Okay. So yeah. the system is in complete Think panic mode. mode. Try to stop it. Oh, 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 that was the vomit that nearly came out. He nearly projectile vomit into the fucking laptop or the phone. Oh, he had to hold that one in there. Two hands on the face. Look at that. Look so at that. The Look at the technique. Complete panic Look at mode. the technique. Try to stop it. Oh, and there we go. That you, they Sucked need Good this boy. war. Good boy. For the ec the new economic realities uh -huh. that are coming with AI, yeah, with AI, technology, with following. all of the you know advancements oh, that we're seeing, GPT. people uh, people's jobs are going away, and you think that this new world he wants that bump in it. He looked down a little bit. He looked down. I think there might be a line on the side. He looked down and he wanted a bit of that line to, to level him out. He looked I, down. With technology. Look, he looked with down to, to all the, of the you know left. advancements that we're seeing. Glance, people. Left. People's jobs are going away. There we go. Oi! And you think he wants that. He, whatever's there, he wants it. He wants to get himself leveled. He's like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm about to die here, Tim. Tim, 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 Tim. I'm about. <laughs> He's really worried. It could go south. <laughs> there, this new world uh, order, as you know. Oh, 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 I know that breath. I know that breath. I know that. I know that. 
I know that breath. Oh my God, he's trying everything in his power. He's trying everything, sitting up straight, breathing, focusing on what Tim's saying, focusing on the words. He's trying to keep that shit in. Look, look. look. And you think they're, this new world... Uh, order, as you know, the term is 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 that needs to be focused on permanent, unending war. But uh, as it has it. if you're a globalist, yeah, uh, uh -huh. if you're a globalist, oh, 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 there we go. It nearly came out. It nearly came out. Oh, oh, it nearly came out. It nearly came out. God Almighty! Wow! No, no, he's head. Look, I'll show you. I'll show you what color his head looks like. This color. That's his, that's, look. His head is this color. The color of my cap. That's his head. <laughs> that's his head. That's the color of, <laughs> of Alex Jones' head right now. That's him right there. That's the fucking color. <laughs> Holy shit. AJ, hold it in, brother. Hold it in. You only got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Hold it in. Look at that. Well, it has it. If you're a globalist. Look, 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 look. If you're a globalist. If you're a globalist. <laughs> oh, Ooh, nearly got it. Twice. Oh, the cough. Oh. If you're a globalist. Yeah. Oh, oh. He tasted that. Oh. He tasted the vomit in his mouth. That was that. He tasted that. Vo that Tito's mixed with vomit, vi mixed with bussy. Mixed with Campari, mixed with calamari. He tasted that. <coughs> look, he tasted it on the mouth. Look, look. Oh, oh. We need that screenshot too. We need that screenshot too. <laughs> if you're a globalist. <laughs> if you're a globalist. If you're a globalist. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's suffering. Hang in there. Hang oh, in there, AJ. It's awesome. It's about him. Yeah. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? It's awesome. It's about him. Yeah, what? It's awesome. It's about him. If you're a globalist, you don't care about people dying. You don't care about war. You don't care about, care about, depression. You care about, war. You care about depression. You need an excuse to unify people <laughs> around what you're doing. And so they're trying... <laughs> like Hitler when he was losing. <laughs> big up, big up, NJ. Alex Jones is suffering from success. Exactly. Oh, that's that. That would be a good. That would be a good meme actually. Where he's bowing his head like that. Oh my god, he's making me sick now. He's making me. Him being sick is making me sick. And against North Africa, oh, he invades Russia. Oh, I know that. I know that move. Where he's trying to get it down your throat. I know that move. I know that move. Real party boys and real party girls in the chat. Stand up. You know that. Yeah. You know that neck twist to try and force it down. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> and against North Africa. Look, 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 look. He invades Russia. Look. That'll unify the Germans. I'll just go attack Russia. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> They're in full panic mode. Oh, again. Nearly. Yeah. It's scary. It's scary. I love how Tim Dillon... Tim, that's how you know Tim Dillon. <laughs> Tim Dillon was doing coke when he was 13 years old. Right? Tim Dillon's a real party boy. He's sober now, as a judge, doesn't really talk about it much, seems to be a cool dude and shit. But he's he's been around some fucked up shit. So he's able to dance and to like jam in this psycho energy. And he loves it. And he didn't miss a beat. He didn't he did not once say, Are you okay? Do you want me to stop the interview? <laughs> We'd like to grab a glass. We're like, nah, bro. Keep the cameras rolling. It's a showtime. We're in Hollywood, baby. Entertainment, baby. Keep the cameras rolling. Keep the cameras rolling. Hey, bro. It's, yeah. scary, it's scary yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, we got Tim. Definitely appreciate you coming on to talk about this. How uh, oh! are you? Oh, my God. It nearly came out there. It nearly came out there. I really appreciate you coming on to talk about this. How uh, are you going oh. to be um, at the convention? Oh. <laughs> He's not at the interview. Look, I love Tim Dillon. Are you going to the convention? <laughs> he can barely speak. He's all over the place. He's vomiting in his mouth 17 times. He's 
probably smells like a bar, right? <laughs> he probably hasn't showered or slept for three days. <laughs> He's not going to no Republican National Convention. He's not about to go in hopscotch with fucking Amber Rose on the stage. They not like us. They not like us. Uh, yeah, be completely honest with you. He's praying. He's, he prayed there. We've all done that before, innit? The night after. I'm never doing this again. I'm never doing this again. He's praying to the heavens. He's praying to the Lord above. Please. Please. Save me. <laughs> save me from this Tito's torment. From the flames of Tito's. <laughs> save me. <laughs> From this whiskey-induced hellscape, save me, please, God, save me, please. Uh, Tim, I'll be completely honest with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. I love you. I'm prepared to die. <laughs> That's cinema. That's fucking cinema. That's fucking cinema right there, bro. All right? Hang it up at the fucking Louvre. Hang it at Tate Modern. Hang it in the white cube. That's fucking art. That's art right there. That's art right there. Eat your heart out. Eat your heart out, Tracy Yemin. Huh? Eat your heart out. Lucian Freud. You ain't got nothing on my guy, Alex Jones. You know what? I'm prepared to die. One more time. That gap, the, it's the timing. That could be a good tune, actually. You put that in the EDM song. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm prepared to die. Bam, 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 bam. That, that could be a real good tune. <laughs> uh, Tim, I'll be completely honest with you. Uh huh. I, I'm prepared to die. Yay! So we're on the verge. I don't just say this, listeners. I'm well, physically sick right now. Yeah, we we don't want you to die. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to explain this. Yeah. I like how Tim doesn't ask about his well-being once. I'm physically sick right now. Yeah, we don't want you to die. He never once says, "Are you okay? Are you fine?" Like, nah, don't keep the cameras rolling. This is not. I'm not. I'm not playing games. Okay. Yeah. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Yeah, we're listening. I've always followed my intellectual analysis of history. Okay? <laughs> Niggas talking about being intellectual. I can just down the half of fucking, yeah, whatever you say, brother. Wagwan! DJ, you're too drunk to go to the convention, big dog. <laughs> and I'm glad you prepared for the inevitable BC your sauce and hard, bro. The funny thing is, he probably still get in. <laughs> The wild thing is, he'd probably still get in. They'd see him and they'd still let him speak. <laughs> they'll, they'll have no problem. They're like, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, JD Vance, JD Vance, JD Vance, whatever your fuck. Vance, is it Vance or Vance? Vance, okay. JD, get out the stage. Alex, come on, come on, brother. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Are you going to be sick? It's okay. You can be sick on the stage. It's okay, baby. Come on, it's okay. They want to hear about Bohemian Grove. Tell them about Bohemian Grove again. Come on, it's okay, baby. It's okay. That's what they probably do. That's what they probably do. Oh. And I'm here in Northern California, which is infiltrated Bohemian Grove again. That's breaking. And I have. Yeah, exactly. Big up Brendan Mullery in the chat. I just saw Brendan Mullery. Big up Brendan Mullery in the chat. And big up. Who said? Who says? Um. Yo, big up uh, Stable Ramirez as well. Oh, sorry, Stable Ramis. Big up Stable Ramis. Big up Stable Ramis. And big up Brendan Mullery. Yo, that's the mad thing about drinking, isn't it? It really is. And that's why in general, in general, in general, unless you can drink in moderation, getting blackout drunk is never worth it. Unless you could drink as part of like your meal and hanging out, ma -ma 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 -ma, drinking to get blackout is a waste of time. It really is. It's the worst. No one ever feels good the next day. No one. No one. No one. And I've and I'm and I'm proof of it because I'm not even like a I, I wouldn't cast myself as like an alcoholic at all because 
I don't drink during the week. I barely go out. I only drink when I go out and I barely go out. I don't have any booze at home. But even I've noticed when I try to do like the proper, like when I was into like the whole Tim Ferriss thing, Tim Ferriss was like, yeah, drink, pour like magnesium into your alcohol every hour and drink that to help with the hangovers. It kind of helped, but you still get hangover. <laughs> you, it don't disappear. But then when you get a buzz when you're drinking, you're trying to chase that buzz. But that after that buzz, you should really stop once you hit that buzz. But you don't because you like the feeling of it. So you try and chase after it and then you get fucked up. Um, it really is the worst. And to be honest, physiologically, having watched Brendan, having watched Bert, I've kind of got put off a little bit from it just because of them. I'm not going to lie, to be completely honest. Like, no, it, it's honestly so bad, man. It's so bad for you, bro. Like, it just changes all, like, the way it changes your face, how you sound. Like, you watch that early episodes of Burt Kreischer on JRE. Yeah, he was younger, but you see early episodes of, J of Burt Kreischer on JRE, and his voice sounds different, brother. His, his voice is completely different. It's so fucking crazy. But it makes sense if you drink that much, you feel me? <clears throat> RP, Jared Miller, when time. you want to watch a Burt Kreischer show, but mom says we have Burt Kreischer at home on Skype. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, exactly. We have Burt Kreischer at home on Skype. It's hilarious. But like I said, isn't it funny? Like I always said, like I always say, I personally think people like Alex Jones and Burt Kreischer will outlive most stand up comedians. I swear on my life, don't be surprised, don't be flipping surprised if this guy outlives everybody. When I mean everybody, I mean everybody. That's the unfair part of it. It's like a smoker that drink that smokes a million cigarettes a day and they live until they're 80, 90. It's so, it's, it happens all the time. So this guy ain't going anywhere anytime soon and I'm all for it. My seven-year-old daughter with me and my wife with me, and I've got three other older children. I, I can't get on your show and lie to you. I'm I'm sitting here believing we're about to have a nuclear war. They've already tried to kill Trump. They're going to do it again. And so I feel guilty literally talking to you and saying we're about to see the end of civilization. Right? <laughs> I feel guilty. That's why you're getting yourself blackout drunk. You feel guilty. So why the can't you be there for your family while you're feeling guilty to support them and love them and, you know, and make sure they feel like, you know, everything's going to be okay? Is getting blackout drunk really the answer to feeling guilty? I don't know, man. Now on the road we're on, on the trip, like you got your GPS, you're driving this restaurant, you're driving this place, you're going to the beach. We're not going to the beach, folks. We're going, we're going to thermal nuclear war uh -huh. and the end of civilization and total death. And I don't, say that to be dramatic I, I literally was sitting here and you were asking me what's happening next and i started to vomit uh -huh. yeah. guys i'm tough okay I, yeah I, I, i'm tough so I, okay really tough. i've been in a lot of fights i don't break i don't <laughs> this is a standard talk this is a standard chat you get when you're on holiday in some random bar somewhere some guy asks hey where are you from and then suddenly it turns into like a couple of drinks this is where it always ends up <laughs> It was up here. And I love those. I love those things. I am the master. I'm not good at many things. I'm not good at a lot of things. But one thing I'm good at, one thing I'm good at is encouraging people to talk. I love it. I love being at a bar and just letting somebody let off. Be like, oh no, really? He said what to you? No way. I can't believe that happened, bro. And what do you do? Really? Fuck, man. That must have been so mad, isn't it? Fuck, really? No way. No, I never heard about that before. Yo, let's just keep going, man. Let's keep going, brother. Let's give me your stories, man. Entertain me. Make this night remember make this night memorable, brother, please. I don't, I don't easily buckle. No fucking way. Joel from MIA says Alex Jones is only 50 years old. No way is he 50. No fucking way is Alex Jones 50. No way. Alex Jones age. No way. Oh my God. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. Maybe it's not so funny now, isn't it? Maybe it isn't so funny anymore, is it? He's 50. He's actually younger than Burt Kreischer. Yo. Oh my God. Yeah, for example, say what you like about Tucker Carlson, but he's allegedly five years younger than Tucker Carlson. He's allegedly five years younger than Tucker Carlson. <laughs> I know Tucker's a bit of a straight-laced Mormon, Christian, you know, fucking unfun guy, but still, he's five years younger than Tucker Carlson. Yeah, he looks, up. I don't know. He probably looks about the same as Steve Bannon. Alex Jones and Steve Bannon probably look the same level of degradation or have the same level of deterioration, right? And Steve Bannon has 20 years on him plus however many number of fucking twinks he's murdered over the years, allegedly. God damn, bro. God damn. And Steve Bannon literally like moisturizes himself in dandruff and wears like 17 polo shirts. So imagine, imagine you looking older than somebody that's 20 years older than you. Fucking hell. He's 50. That's insane, bro. Let's see. Uh, let's say celebrities born in 1975. Let's see, live 74. Oh my God. Look at who look at all the celebrities that Alex Jones is the same age as. Christian Bale, Eva Mendes, Joaquin Phoenix, Amy Adams, Penelope Cruz, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Moss, Sarah Paulson, Seth Green. All these people Alex Jones is the same age as. Bloody hell. Hilary Swank. Alyssa Hannig, so many white people. When he, when, why are you typing celebrities? All these fucking mayonnaise people pop up. When, I, I want to see like blacks. I want to see Snoop Dogg. What's, <laughs> I want to see DMX. <laughs> Who are these people? Nelly, Jimmy Fallon, uh, and, and, and that's Morissette. Victoria Beckham, Robbie Williams, my idol. Robbie Williams. Oh shit. Ryan Seacrest. Yo, Alex Jones is the same age as Ryan, not gay, Seacrest. Wow, Derek Jeter. But we know why he looks young, innit? We know why he looks young. Big up the original stick, man. We know why he looks young. Big up the original stick, man. Big up Derek Jeter, still. Wow, Lil Kim, Steve-O. So basically, Steve-O would have looked like Alex Jones if he didn't get sober, right? Basically, if Steve Jones, if Steve Jones, Steve-O never got sober, he'd end up looking like Alex Jones. Chloe Sevengi, wow. Bloody hell, Alex, man. Alex used to chill out with the booze, bro. I am literally having a panic attack right now because of the magnitude of what's happening to our civilization. So... I want to be very clear with people. Uh, I don't want to say what I think because I don't want to sound like an asshole to people. Okay. I don't want to say what I think. Oh, Mac, I think, was he thinking about saying like some like race science shit? <laughs> he wants to get on his neo-Nazi. <laughs> I can't say what I think. <laughs> Subscribe to my Substack so I can tell you why the rates of uh, <laughs> why there's such high rates of single parent households within black communities. That's what he wants to get into. <laughs> why don't they just comply? <laughs> why don't they just comply? That's what he wants to be. Exactly. Exactly. Case study. He wants to start reading a chapter from the bell curve live on stream oh big up alex jones bro <laughs> yeah uh, i had rand she has some good points <laughs> we are in the middle of world war three oh. with the russians it's already started yeah everything is collapsing yeah 
everything is insane. Uh huh. And if if we sit there, who's? Oh my god! Oh my god! That's probably his daughter, isn't it? The whole time he was doing that, his daughter. So he's with his family doing this. It's insane. And if if we sit there. Bless, man. He's with his family. This whole time he's getting fucked up. About to vomit into his mouth. His family's there. It would have been much better if I see if I saw some tea ladies there. With like half cut soccer ball tits. Hey papi. Like it would have made more sense. I'd have been happy to see that. But like here with his family. Yeah, that kind of, I'm not going to lie, man. Like, I, it started off funny. Now I'm finding out he's 50. And now he's there with his family. This is kind of bumming me out. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of bumming me out. Call him Alex Ricator, innit? Call him Alex Ricator. Fucking hell, man. It's interesting because, again, like, being somebody that's childless, I don't know, maybe it's different when you're a parent and you're actually doing it, you're living it. But... I would never want my kids to see me fucked up. Like, I would never want to see them. Like, I probably would be one of those dads who's like, fuck it, I'm going I'm, I'm going sober. At least even for the first 10 years or something, when the kid's a baby or something, at least. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be one of those kind. It's a bit redacted, but I wouldn't want my kids to see me, like, hungover, sleeping on the couch after a night out and stuff. Daddy, wake up. It's time to give me breakfast. Daddy, wake up. I have to go to school. Daddy, wake up. Like, uh, Daddy, wake up. Or your daughter's, your little kid's coming and giving you a glass of water. Daddy, I know you like orange juice when you're hungover. Daddy, look, here's some, here's some crisp. Here's some chips I put in a bowl for you, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy, wake up, wake up. Can you take me to the park? Daddy, can I go out to my friends? And you're like, Ugh. Or even on holiday. Like, wait until the kids go to sleep and you and the other parents can like unwind like and get a bit tipsy at the bar. But I wouldn't want to do it in front of my you know what I mean? If you're on holiday at some resort and you're with the kids, cool. Then when the kids go to sleep, you and the other parents, you get lit at the fucking bar. That's cool. But like this, yikes, man. Yikes. And if we... There's the reason to live and there's the I... reason... <laughs> Big up Burp Reynolds. I quit drinking because I had a kid, but my dad for sure didn't. <laughs> yeah, Big Up Coyle, I'm the same, brother. And I have to be I have to be honest and say, as much as it was annoying to grow up in a household where my parents were very strict and they almost, you know, stopped us doing loads of things, I have to be fair and say, growing up in a house where my, none of my parents drank, and most of it was religious reasons as well, but still they, they didn't really get into the booze, was a blessing. Was really a blessing. Really, really, really was a blessing. Because now I'm just not used to having drinks at home. Like, it's just not a thing that I do. And if I do buy them, I'd literally have to go outside to get them, which is not, I'm not making it like, oh, it's a magnificent accomplishment. But I think that, and plus, you know, I'm also lucky too, because I don't like, as much as I enjoy drinking, I don't enjoy like it like a drink, you know? Because I think it's harder if you actually enjoy the taste of booze. It's probably way harder to quit. So I have super empathy and sympathy for people out there who struggle with it. Because if you actually enjoy it as a beverage, <sighs> I can't imagine, but I could easily have a steak dinner, you know, with a glass of water. I don't need to have it with a red wine. I, if I have a red wine, it's lovely, cool, but I don't need to have it like that. Um, and that's a, What do you think, Gamebred? Gamebred said, most of us are like that, AZ. I don't know, though, brother. I don't know. You say that, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, exactly, Austin. I'm the same. I legitimately only drink when I'm partying. Even when I go watch football in a bar sometimes, I'll just buy one drink because I don't want to sit there and watch the thing for free. But I also don't want to feel like, I, I don't want to, I feel a bit bad going to a pub to watch football, but I don't want to drink beer. But I also don't want to order a soft drink because it's not like, you know, it's whatever. So whatever. But really and truly, when I'm going to drink, it's only to get fucked up. But I'm not too sure if everybody does that, Game Bread. I think most people, I don't know. What are you guys saying in the chat? Do most of you guys have like a bar at home? The ones that do drink, do you guys have a bar or do you guys have drinks now at home in the fridge? If you opened it up now, do you have a good portion of liquor left, good beverages left? What does the chat say? 
Because I don't know how people, what people do. The ones that do drink anyway. If you don't drink, obviously you don't include it in this. But if you do drink, do you have just booze at home? Or do you only buy it when you want it? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, yo, big up MM. What's good, MM? My mum my mom was shit house around us on the reg. It'll be okay. Yeah, that's the thing though. That's the thing. For some reason, most of the people I've heard who grew up in households where their parents were drinking turn up pretty okay. You know, <laughs> for the most part. Maybe it's growing up in that chaos. It does something to you and you're like, you know, you're not really... Nothing shock surprises you. Nothing shocks you. Like, eh, no big deal. Um, big up Young Old Vibes. Just a bottle of wine that lasts about a month. Big up Young Old Vibes. Katie, yeah, I don't drink beer like that either. I drink Patron on the rocks with maybe a Coke, with maybe a Corona on the side. Oh, Clayton. Clayton. Ask me what my name is before you offer me a drink. Hey, Clayton. That sounds fucking delicious. Hmm. I drink Patron on the rocks and maybe a Corona on the side. I like it there. Am I liking that? My family in laws are vegetarian, so I have to drink outside of my. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that. That's real. Game bit is real to the core. That's when you know you're really about that drinking life. I drink outside or in, or, <laughs> or in my garage. Like a real man. All right? Don't bitch and complain. All right, cool. You don't like this? I'm going to drink outside. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to drink it outside. Okay, cool. <laughs> I hate to quit drinking. I drink beer um, occasionally at home when watching fights and maybe a cocktail. Yeah, don't get me wrong. King Bayo's right. Having a bottle of beer while watching the UFC fights, goaded. But have you noticed? I've noticed whenever I'm watching UFC, because it's so captivating, I forget the beer. And then I've got it and it's like, the worst thing, especially bottled beer, is having it be room temperature. And by the time you realise, it's already fucking warm and it's still half left and you're like, but Have had the same six pack in my fridge for six months, says Brandon Mullery. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. You know what? Judging by the stream chat, Game Bread Footballer was right. <laughs> the majority of people, I, I, I speak about myself like I'm this unique guy, like, oh, wow, I'm only going outside, don't get my alcohol, give me crown. But most people <laughs> are like that, I guess. Most people don't have like four bars at home. <laughs> you know, like a fully stocked bar with lights on the back, you know what I mean? Okay, fair play, fair play, whatever, whatever whatever let's continue i hate it when you guys are right i fucking hate it he's in a save there's a reason to save he's praying the country right there right hold on let's go back let's go back when the is insane and if, if we sit there and if we there's the reason to live and there's the okay. reason to save there's a reason to save the country right there right that's what I'm saying is yeah. is that is that I don't want to come here and tell you and say a bunch of horrible shit because right. it gives power to it, but it's happening. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm literally having nightmares every night. I'm literally preparing to die, and I'm sitting there watching everybody going playing golf and watching Netflix, thinking it's all a fucking joke, folks. Yeah. It ain't a fucking joke, okay? Right. And all I'm telling people is is that I know how things work. I, this is what I do. Watching and golf. We are in World War Three with the Russians. Uh -huh. We have a crazy Joe Biden. They just uh -huh. tried to kill Trump. Come on, people. What do you think comes next? Uh -huh. They're going to power outages. They're going to do a cyber attack. They're going to kill Trump. And, and I'll just say that. They're going to kill Trump. I, I think he's dead. So so I am physically... Damn. Um, I, I'm, I'm... I wonder, though. I don't know the statistics. What's the likelihood when somebody gets... At somebody attempts to assassinate you, what's the likelihood that they follow up? I guess there's probably stats about that. Like, I wonder. Hmm. I, 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 literally, I was trying to be dramatic earlier. I was about to vomit. I love you, baby. Aww. It's my daughter right here. Say hi to folks, Veronica. So, I've run. Oh, bless. Oh, not, you see? Now it's not getting so funny, is it? Now it isn't so funny. Oh. I wish I didn't I wish I didn't have a heart, honestly. I could laugh about this stuff way more easier, man. I like to joke and drop, but when it's like oh. I 
mean, this is... You know, <laughs> Big up Assad. <laughs> I have feelings. All oh, the feelings. Even though I pretend I don't. I have all the feelings. I'm <laughs> going back, to, baby. I'll be almost off. I, 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 this is not a game. <laughs> She's only two months old. It's always gnarly when you meet a kid like that, isn't it? It's always gnarly when you meet a kid that's just massive, but they're really young. So, like, oh, how are they? you think this kid's like three? It's like, nah, that kid's like eight months old. You're like, what? <laughs> this kid's a fucking unit. <laughs> <laughs> game, okay? People, thermal nuclear war is not a game, okay? No. What's no, going not. down, and the average person cannot, like, gauge this. They think, oh, everything's fine, because you've lived in freedom so Yo, Clay, what do you mean I'm wilding? What, what are you trying to say? I didn't say nothing. What are you thinking about? I didn't say nothing. I didn't say a single thing about that kid. What are you thinking about? Exactly. I didn't say nothing. I'm just here, minding my business, streaming, having some ha-ha hee-hees. Chuckling and you know, shucking and jiving as I do, you know, as I do. That's what I'm doing. I say a damn thing. Along, folks, this isn't a game, and I am literally doing the shutdown process and preparing to die. I'm literally looking at my daughter and my wife and like preparing for nuclear war because, <laughs> Mommy, what does dying mean? Mommy, why does daddy want to die? Don't listen to him, honey. Honey, don't listen to him, honey. He's crazy. Don't listen to him. Because that's a probability, not a possibility. Well, Alex, and you know I, what? I I agree with you, but I want to... You guys are saying to me I shouldn't do nothing. Look what Young Old Vibe said. Young Old Vibe said something more offensive than what I said. Young Old Vibe said something way more offensive than anything I've said or intimated at. She says she looks like her dad. <laughs> I, did, I didn't say that. Look, uh, chastise your fellow chatter. Chastise your fellow chatter here. Look what young old... I didn't say that. I, I didn't say a thing. Remind you that you there's a lot of people that care about you. You're incredibly talented. Your family loves you. And that's why I had you on because we want... <laughs> oh, honestly, man. How much does he owe again? Is it a billion? How much... Does Alex Jones owe? Oh. Oh. 1.5 billion dollars. I'm sorry. I don't agree with a lot of things that Alex Jones says, but there comes a point in one man's life when you've done it all. If you owe a $1.5 billion in debt, that might be grounds to, I don't know, go up to the tallest building and see the sights, if you get what I mean. That might be <laughs> one of the occasions where you'd want to go into an open field and fly a kite during a stormy night. <laughs> that might be a good excuse. Honestly, I'm sweating at the moment with my student debts from my f shitty university I went to. That's like about 15K or something, right? That I'm paying with my paycheck every month. A little portion comes out paying that fucking 15K debt. Could you imagine being in debt? 1.5 billion. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> it's one thing missing your Klarna payment. <laughs> it's another thing owing $1.5 billion in debt. And because of how heinous he's been over the years, and because of the nature of the crime, and because of the victims and how badly they've been affected, they're going to chase him down for that money. And if they don't chase him down, they're going to wear him down. So he's going to pay one way or the other that's got a way on your mind you know that they're not gonna give up they're not gonna let up on you and rightfully so because the things he said about those parents was like wild they're gonna be after you also the mainstream media that didn't want you around anyway they're also gonna be after you 
That pressure he's under, bro. God damn. Yeah, big up Joe Pemaye. He might not pay a cent. He might not actually have to pay that cent, but he's paying for it. You get what I mean? He might not have to pay for it, but he's paying for it. Wanted to hear what you had to say, and, you know, I've been listening to you since I'm 13, so if if we can just send love... It's, it's passing the torch, isn't it? This is a real pass the torch moment. Alex Jones comes crumbling and Tim Dillon is rising. Rising. Views going up. Patreon booming. Live shows selling out. Everyone, whenever there's a political hot take thing, Rogan usually goes for Tim Dillon now. Before in the past, he'd go for Alex Jones. But Tim Dillon now is his loudmouth, firebrand, you know, ranty, hot take guy. Tim Dillon is the new Alex Jones, actually. It's got to be wild to see. He's actually looked up to Alex Jones. He loved him. Alex Jones is his Howard Stern, basically. Crazy. <clears throat> Love to you and hope that you feel better because you get involved in a lot of crazy shit and read about it and process it and internalize it. But we're just sending love to you and your family. And I really appreciate you coming on and talking about this because this is really, for lack of better words, fucked up shit. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I want to be 100% clear. Yeah. I'm sorry I whined and no, you didn't mind it, all that. What I'm trying to say. <laughs> Oh, he's a mess, man. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yeah. My family's out there, right? Yeah. We're not in Kansas anymore. Right. This is a total meltdown tank over by any yardstick. The globalists are in bunkers right now. Globalists. They're all hiding. I'm saying we've got to recognize how dangerous uh -huh. this is. Yeah. And we've got to contact Congress, contact the media, and say, stop this. That, that, that's all I'm trying to say is that I want to say what I really believe. And I'm not trying to be dramatic. It feels evil to say we're on the first nuclear war. No, it feels disgusting yeah. mm -hmm. to do this. That's uh -huh. all I'm trying to say. And they just tried to kill Trump. We're not in Kansas, folks. We're not in a normal situation. So, Tim, I love you. Thank you. Please come on my show. Dude, I will. And God bless you. I appreciate it. God bless you. And thank you, Alex. <laughs> Alex. That's a, true, that's a true American patriot there. All hail Alex Jones. All hail Alex Blood Clark Jones. What a legendary episode. And for all you losers out there who are complaining, Tim Dillon, don't share your platform with him. Shut up. Shut up. Stop being boring. Enjoy the shit show. We have a short time on this earth. Some of us won't even get to fucking live out our dreams. Some of us won't get to maybe live into our old age. While you're here, enjoy the shit show. You won't get another turn. Enjoy it enjoy it and these are some of the best characters we have you couldn't write this character into a hbo tv series you couldn't write this character into a netflix movie you couldn't write this this guy is blog buzzer blog buzzer you get me all right cool look at the alerts not going away love it anyway cool continuing on continuing on Who's that? Austin Casey, Wagwan. Alex might do a Marvin Himeyer and armor up a bulldozer to go crazy through the Capitol. <laughs> Smiley face. I would love to see that. I would love. I would love, love, love to see it. I'd love to see it. Powered by Vark, powered by Tito's. <laughs> 